it's time to glaze your cylinders from the wheel. So I want to show you how to do that and some options that you can experiment with for this one. So we're using our glazing process chart. Uh, so the first step is to wash your piece. Nice and quick under the faucet, dump out the water, let that dry. Next you want to plan. So what colors are you going to do? I looked on my color chart and I've decided that I want to try this one. This is uh, Albany Slip with Frosted Melon. So Albany Slip is on the, uh, on the whole piece. And then I'm only going to partially dip with Frosted Melon. And it gets this kind of warm honey kind of color, which is really cool. Um, so this one is a two color dip. You can experiment with that for this round. Um, so what I'm going to do is now that it's dry, I'm going to apply my first color, which was Albany Slip. So I've mixed this up already. Um, we're not going to do any resist. Um, if you really have a difficult time cleaning the bottom of your cup, you could put wax on there and that could be what you resist. So wax on here would just inhibit the glaze from being absorbed on the bottom. You'd still have to wash it, make sure there is no glaze there. It'll just make it easier to wipe off. Um, however, I'm pretty comfortable using uh, the carpeting to clean it off, so I'm not gonna resist anything. Um, I've mixed my glaze really well just before this, and I've tested it, looking at how thick the glaze is. I can see my nail bed indent. Uh, I cannot see my skin coming through. Thick, but not too thick. Definitely not thin, okay? There are a few of our glazes that just naturally run a little thick. Uh, floating blue is one, and uh, sometimes uh, citrus burst and matte white are, are a little on the thick side, but they work really well. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to actually apply my glaze, which is step six. So I just want to figure out a good handhold, typically at the bottom, and I'm just going to dip it in at an angle so it can flood the inside and the outside at the same time. My glaze is about halfway in the bucket, so there's plenty of room to dip. If you prefer to use a glazing tongs, you could do it that way too. Okay. So I'm going to go down at an angle so it enters the opening of my piece. Swish it around. No more than three seconds. Just let it kind of drip dry. I can transfer it onto the counter. And we're just going to wait that for that to dry. So, okay, I think we're dry now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my second color dip. So I have my frosted melon already mixed up right here. Um, and I'm not going to go on the whole piece. Um, I'm going to just probably, I have kind of a nice line right there, so I'm going to glaze right to there, and that's it. And I'm just going to go upside down. I'm not going to worry about it going on the inside. So it'll just be straight down and up and a little shake. Maybe just let that set up a little bit. And you're going to have something really cool happen where these two colors overlap. Um, it's going to kind of make a third new color. So if you have a lot of cylinders, you can experiment some different color mixtures. Might be kind of fun. On the chart, there's a few combinations figured out for you, and they're labeled, uh, but not a lot. So I also have this book, um, and they're printouts from Amico, which is the brand of our glaze. So what you're seeing is these are all Albany Slip glazes as the base. And then they'll say what one goes on top. And so there's some different combinations that you could experiment with. Um, just know that these are probably really, really great examples they're photographing for marketing. Um, and that there is a lot of variance and differences that can happen in your glaze. So it's just an approximation. Okay. Alright, so my second color has set. It might take a little longer for that second color to set. I'm going to clean off the bottom on my carpet right here and then I'm going to also kind of go around the sides to clean that up check that it's a clean bottom all right no glaze there we can put that into the glazing 
or the kiln room on the shelf to get fired. <laughs>